I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. I believe today's video takes us to Foxborough, Massachusetts. I could be wrong about that, but I'm fairly certain. And we find Jailbird Josh in all places at the library. And he wants an apology from the librarian because she hurt his little feelings. And then he threatens with her and says she'll lose her job if she doesn't apologize. Oh my goodness. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good night, the most of all. <laughs> Enjoy! What's going on guys? We're at the Sargent Memorial Library. Also known as the Boxborough Public Library. You'll remember them because of this. This is a staff only area. Okay. So, and just so you know, libraries are what's called the limited public nope. forum. Yes, nope. they are. Nope. Um, and nope. the law says you can't throw nope. film people without their permission, nope. especially children nope. without their gap. Nope. Good. American Library Association, which you guys are accredited through, has recognized that limited public forum exists in a library for what would be reasonably considered private venues such as yoga classes, senior classes. If you guys were having private events, it would be considered outside the scope of the services of a normal library. So that woman's like just wrong. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, that was Fat Boy's video four months ago. Now he's back for some more. Oh, and he's going to get some more too. But this video is 58 minutes long. Let's skip through all that nonsense and get to the part where he confronts the librarian again. Roll that clip. One eternity later. Heather, did you want to apologize to me today? For what? Well, for your behavior last time. I already did that. And did you want to apologize for... Did you know the police showed up here today? I didn't. You didn't? Well, they usually show up when you call them, Heather. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That is what public servants do. I didn't call them, though. Yeah, well, I think they disagree. Um, okay, you can disagree, but the fact is that I didn't call oh, them. Okay, did you... Why don't you give us a little apology? Why? Because I'm going to take your job if you don't. <laughs> You worthless pile of trash, Josh. You're threatening to have this woman fired because you got your feelings hurt? You're less than a man. You're a piece of trash. Okay, sounds good. Fair enough. If you can prove that I did something to apologize for I think 40,000 people saw the last thing that you did. What do you, what do you think? Is that a figment of my imagination? People saw what I said to you. Yeah, I stated our policy. It's not your policy. Yes, it is. Oh, that's that's your policy. That was our policy. And when did it end? The moment I called you on it, because mm -hmm. that day she said that wasn't your policy either. She didn't. This limited public forum. She disagreed that that was ever a thing. That was something that you came up with. Because you've been forwarded uh, stuff from misguided do, people. So do you have a library question? For yes, me? I do. Josh thinks he's educated. Oh, yes, indeed. All the way to the sixth grade, my man. Are there any books on how to teach a dummy the Constitution? We have books for um, children. I don't know if we have the how to. Well, you have the maturity level of a child, so that might work. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Do you have a specific book you're looking for? Yes. Constitution for Dummy Librarians. I wonder if that one exists. Yeah, Constitution for Dummy Librarians. Doesn't look like that title exists in our system. Is there something else you wanted me to look up for you today, or should I teach you how to use the catalog? There should be some kind of be on the lookout report for this guy. Any library should have a picture of him and his fat ass wife. So if they see him walk in, they can say, Oh, wait a minute, don't let them in here. They're nothing but trouble. 
By the way, I wouldn't have believed anybody could be bigger than Josh. Look at the size of that woman. No, that's fine. If the, well, I guess if the title doesn't exist, might as well be original, and I guess I'll just name, that's what I'll name this video. All right. Thanks very much. Did you have a good lunch break? I did. Good. How long are lunch breaks usually? About an hour. Oh, <laughs> They're, they're an hour. I have um, half an hour for lunch and then 20 minutes any other time I want, and I chose to take it all at once today. I do that sometimes when I have evening programs. Okay. I have two programs back to back okay. tonight. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Is this your artwork? No, that's the kids. Well, don't. No, it's very nice. Hey, Jailbird Josh, why don't you tell this librarian how long it takes you to eat lunch? You know, when Taco Bell sees you and your wife in the parking lot, they say, Oh no, not those two again, and they run for the border. All right, well, Heather, I'm going to take your business card, okay? Okay. Right, perfect. That's why you're there. Um, apology before I leave? That's not library business. Well, it's, it's town business, that's for sure. But you don't want to apologize for it? I was more asking if you wanted to before I left. I still have, don't really understand what you're asking me to apologize for. I've already apologized for ignoring you last time and for my misunderstanding. If you are insecure and feel like you need another apology, that's I'm insecure. That's Lady, you just I'm hid in a room for 50 minutes just so you wouldn't look as dumb this time I'm as you did last one. time. Wait a minute, Josh. Isn't that like the pot calling the kettle black? You're saying this librarian looks stupid? You're the one that looks stupid, Josh. Hey, Josh, you remember that time you tried to make a citizen's arrest and you wound up being arrested? That's about 200 pounds ago, isn't it? You're trying to get sassy with me. I took my, I took my allotted lunch, all right? Now, you've been giving me a lot of attitude is what you've been doing. All right, listen, I'm going to... I'm gonna take off. We're just gonna we're gonna go to the library board meetings, town council meetings. Ninety days. I'm sure that's just gonna be. You are one of the worst public servants I've ever seen. We're gonna we're gonna appeal to the people, see if they want to help us. Name calling. Is that really nice, Heather? So if I said to somebody, "Are you feeling like a insert whatever?" ignorant word there does that make it better because I said you feel like these two lovebirds are perfect for each other because they both suffer from narcissistic sociopathic disorder no doubt you know I just have one question well oh, maybe I shouldn't ask that question I was just wondering nah nah I won't ask that question I mean it's like calling saying to somebody you act you're acting like a whatever and then when they say, you just called me that, and then they say, no, I said you were acting like it. That's what you're, you're trying to like mince meat and wordsmith me, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah that's what you're doing. Because like usually you're a kid's librarian. You're normally the smartest person in this room because you like deal with kids. And now you're dealing with educated adults that don't like your behavior. I mean, I haven't raised my voice. My voice level hasn't changed. I've been professional with you the whole time. I mean, you, you work in a building that's wall-to-wall -wall covered with the First Amendment. You thought for a second you should ever tell me that I can't exercise mine while you only exist because of yours? This Did Josh just say he's educated? Educated in what? Annoying people? Because that's all you do, Josh. Look at that face. I'm not even sure his mama loves him anymore. She probably kicked him to the curb years ago. This building only exists because of the First Amendment. You can practice, but I can't. Yeah, would you please, would you please have a wonderful 2024? Sure, that's not, you know, something you can ask me to do as part of my job, but I'll do that for you. Well, no, I meant like, as a librarian, could you have a wonderful 2024? I will. And I mean, all around as a human being, I hope you, I hope you really, your year turn, this year is a turnaround for you and you have a good year, so maybe you won't be so grumpy. Well, there you have it, folks. The boy wants an apology. The librarian hurt his feelings. 
You notice how much time frauditors spend in the library when most of them can't read past the second grade level? Yeah, I find it rather ironic. Well, Joshy boy is far from done with his library days, that's for sure. Look at the size of that guy. Woo wee. Takes a lot of Taco Bell to feed him. Not to worry. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Jailbird Josh. Hey, when do you think you'll get arrested again, boy? we all like to see that. Mm-hmm. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400-level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing, take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason really, left. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. We're gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah, we're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the law. Do. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the line. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car. I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. 